Hi everyone! Today we will continue building our Power BI dashboard from scratch. We need to make our summary profit and loss statement look a bit more readable. Today we will focus on colors and conditional formatting. This playlist is devoted to a business owner. Here I'm showing you how you can transfer your reporting environment from Excel to Power BI dashboard. We have the following assumptions. Assumption 1. You're a business owner. Assumption 2. Every week or month you have to prepare profit and loss statements for different products, locations, profit centers, etc. You are doing that manually in Excel from scratch, building numerous pivot tables, combining different raw data reports such as revenue report, direct cost report, payroll report, bank statement, vendor report, and so on. Assumption 3. You don't have financial or data analysts in your team. We are also assuming that you want to see not only revenues and direct cost picture, you want to see the whole picture of your business containing all types of revenues and all types of expenses. And final assumption, you have just basic knowledge of Microsoft Excel. If that's all about you, then this playlist is yours. Here we are starting from building an Excel tool where you will be simply pasting all your raw data reports. This tool will automatically assign revenue and expense tags to the raw data. Also, this tool will be a library for the cost allocation rules that will be applied to different vendors and other operating costs. The outputs from this tool will be flying to our Power BI dashboard and serve as a data source. Then we will build Power BI dashboard from scratch. Profit and loss statement slicers and filters, charts and diagrams, and summary tables. All tutorials in this playlist will be very short and comprehensive. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel. Share this video with your friends who have their own business. We can also create Excel decision making tools, models, Power BI dashboards for your business. All the links on tutorials you will be able to find in the description of this video. Let's look at our summary profit and loss statement. It consists of 12 columns. First 7 columns illustrate absolute values for the selected parameters. Other 5 columns illustrate values per one product sold. So first of all, let's separate these two groups of values from each other by using different colors for the columns. We can do it very easily. Let's select our income statement table. Then we're going to the format visual pane. Inside this directory, we're opening specific column. Here we can set up the background color for this measure and assign it to header and totals. Let's assign this color to the first seven columns. For other 5 columns with per unit metrics, we will be choosing another color.
Next step, we'll be adding conditional formatting for EBITDA measures that we use in our profit and loss summary table. We already created conditional formatting to a couple of previously created tables. Let's copy the color parameters for negative and positive values from one of these tables. Let's open empty Word document for that. Then let's select profit and loss statement for the selected period of time. Here we need to find the first measure with conditional formatting assigned. This will be gross margin in dollars. Now let's copy color parameter from this area to the Word document. So this color is red and this color will be green. Now let's go back to our income statement summary table and assign conditional formatting to EBITDA measures. We will be pulling green positive and red negative colors from the Word document that we've created earlier.
we can also rename the column names for this visual. Finally, let's give the name to our profit and loss by product summary table. We can also adjust the font size and font color for the title. Now we are done with our first summary table. Profit and Loss Income Statement by Product. During our next tutorial, we will be adding other summary income statements by Profit Center and by in-store slash online criteria. So please like, share and subscribe to our channel. Share this video with your friends who have their own business. Also, you can order from scratch, building Excel decision-making tools, models and Power BI dashboards. All the tutorial links you will be able to find in the description of this video. Thanks for watching, see you next tutorials and bye.